Good morning. So it's December. December. When is it? Third. December third today. We're just going. Specific. Okay, I don't know that song. We're actually on our way out to the go get the bag extractor. It's about 35 kilometers away, from one of our fields. We're gonna go grab it. We're gonna take it back 35 kilometers and maybe go about 20 or so kilometers the other direction. Literally going from west to east. That's what we're doing. This could be bouncy in here. Or... Oh, not, not bad. So most of our roads back here, they're not all season roads. Good question, no. Um, do the roads get plowed off for snow? No, they do not. Um, this is a fairly main drag, it means it's gravel. Um, the ditches are fairly high on it. Um, but this road has been known to be completely blocked. And uh, for that person over there in that yard, they actually had to sled the town because like, we would help blow it out, plow it out, blow it out, plow it out. But I think that was back in 2010, 2011, we had like a ridiculous amount of five feet or something on the level, plus winds. And we couldn't keep this road, road open for nothing. It was just trenched like you would see in the old uh, railroad track days. But anyway, I will see you guys when we get to the field. Hi, Ashton. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh. So I know the question's also been asked, Mike, uh, do you ever unhook from a bag and then come back to it later? That's exactly what we're gonna do. And you know, that kind of sucks actually because, um, you know, I got a lot of driving ahead of me here to get to the other side of the farm. It's pretty much going to the other side of the farm. Well, Mike, why the heck are you doing that? Actually, I should, I need to get over to the other side. Uh, because this is Durham and we have trucks coming for chickpeas. We only have one extractor. So that means uh, you got to switch off a of Durham, which really sucks because if your trucks are hauling Durham and maybe you got custom guys coming in for chickpeas and it's all in bags, your life can get a little bit hectic and a little complicated very quickly. Well, Mike, why don't you get another extractor? Oh, I got about 60,000 reasons why. So uh, if we can we can manage to get by with one, then that's what we'll do. So I'll show you how we unhook from these bags. Right, Ashton? Adios, muchachos. Adios, muchachos. Ashton's just taking off. She's going back to the farm to help with those uh, wheel bearings again. We're going to hop in this 516. Oh, it's a little dirty in here. They must have been using this thing every day or something. Also sucks when you're way out in the field, you can't plug these things in, right? So we do have Wabasco's right. Never mind, it's gone. Huh. I remember them saying something about they had to get a dealer down to fix that or something. So anyway, we don't have a Wabasco anymore. So we're just going to fire it up. Keep in mind, it's like minus one, so it's going to have no problem starting. Wait for the little gold plugs to go off. If it was minus 21, oof, that'd be a lot rougher. Minus 31, no. We'd never go. Still didn't like going and it's pretty warm out here. Oh, it's gonna, it might quit me here. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Oh, come on now. I still have my foot in the clutch. It's when it kicks it to hydraulics and normally it'll kick them in and then kill the tractor sometimes. It's kind of a common thing. Try to give her a little RPM. We're just going to have to let it kind of work this out of its system. It will slowly uh, regain its RPM. There it is. It's coming up. There it is. Well, Mike... Tractors aren't meant to start when it's cold outside. Well, then don't sell them in Canada, Scappy. Don't sell them in Canada, because we need them. Ah, all right. Oh, I forgot to turn my hydraulics on. All right, hydraulics are on. So, we're going to lift up. Oh, actually, it's still rolling here. Come on. There we go. Then you want to de-roll it. We're unrolling it. It's actually pushing the tractor forward. Gonna, that's our pusher. We're gonna actually pop that thing back, retract it. There we go. So basically, what we're doing here, guys, 
is uh, I'm going to actually roll it all the way out until down there. That's where the start of the bag is. So this bag is about 50% complete, give or take, maybe not quite. Yeah, not quite. And uh, I'm going to roll it out, and that way it's not on my roller. So when we come back to it next time, Mike, will you just start at that end and re-roll all that? We could. We could do that, but we won't. We'll probably come to about here, cut the bag, because it's just going to be laying flat on the ground like those ones are over there. We're just going to cut the bag and then just start rolling it on here. Because you need about like 10, 12 feet of bag to get the roll started. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep on rolling this. And you can speed this up, so let's speed this thing up. We don't have all day here. I don't want to waste your guys' time. That's about, that's ramming speed right there pretty much. Okay, I gotta get my gloves here. There, I got my gloves, so now we're gonna fold that auger down. Sorry about the sun, it's kind of bright. There we go. So once you've rolled this enough, you gotta pop this out of its gears. Typically it takes two hands, watch this, there we go. Now all I gotta do is just roll and it's just gonna roll right off, okay? All right, let's go do that right now. All right. Just go nice and slow, just like that. Mike, why are you unrolling the bag? Why don't you take it back? Because we got a pile of bags here that got to get all recycled and wrapped up. So uh, I'm not gonna take it back. I'm just gonna unwrap it. That way I can get it off my roller because I gotta start a new bag. Remember? So Mike, is this common? Hooking and unhooking bags? Yeah, it is pretty common. Just like that, we're ready to rock and roll. All right. I almost forgot the cardinal rule. What's that, Mike? I almost forgot these shovels. Oh, that would have been bad. Just gonna throw these to your uh, shovels in the bucket. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, we're gonna slowly make our way out of this field. Um, I was letting the tractor warm up there for a little bit. And uh, we're gonna let it warm up as we're slowly making our way out of here. We're on the road here, and we got we got a long move, you guys. So I will catch you on the flipper. Oh, we're still moving. Another day on the farm, really. You know, that's what I really do like about the uh, Fent tractors, is they're super fast. Like right now, we have it set at 34 miles an hour, which is about as fast as we can go with these things, especially in North America. We are limited, unlike the EU. But um, when you gotta go from one side of your farm to the other side of your farm, it sure is handy to have these uh, fence tractors kicking around. They did get out booking. Well, Mike, can you can the implement that you're pulling sustain the speed of the fence? Not always. Degelman Pro Tails can't. No, sir. You hold 25 very long, and you could end up blowing out those big tires. Borgo drills definitely cannot. 
Um, you also heat those tires up because the more, you know, obviously the more weight you got, the more heat will create in those tires and then uh, they'll just fail. But all this bagging equipment, yeah, it's not a problem. Not a problem. Here's the halfway point. There's our farm over there. Now we're gonna go the other direction, about the same distance. Some of these roads get a little rough because the snow blows across them and sticks. Like obviously, yeah, these roads aren't a winter passable. Ooh, they're slow down a little bit. Are not a winter passable road. Now we don't have any snow. Just imagine if we had a bunch of snow. snow here. Come on. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> yep. That's all I have to say. So we're just about there. I guess there's uh, already one semi waiting for us. Uh, Frankel's just texted me. He's like, so uh, whereabouts are you there, buddy old pal? And then I'm like, oh, I'm just leaving Olsen's here. That's one of our fields where the bags were. Meaning I'd be like, I'm going to be a long time, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm only like five minutes away, but I'm like, yeah, I'm just leaving Olsen, so I'll see you when I get there. And I'm thinking to myself, he's probably like, oh shoot, there's a truck sitting here. He's got to go tell the truck that I'm going to take forever to get here. And I just love life. <laughs> no fear, Mike is here. The truck is here. This is not our truck, by the way. We do get some stuff custom done if we can't keep up. And obviously, we can't keep up. So Frankles is trying to plow some trails in for uh, the semi to get in and get out. He still has his loopers on. I don't know if anyone sees that or not, but he's got his loopers on. Kind of embarrassing, Frankles. <laughs> I would never do something like that. No, no. All right. Oh, we've already taken out of this bag. See? So we might just hook it up here actually. Or we gotta scrape the snow off. I gotta make a plan. Mike, is that the 942? Uh, yes it is the 942. Talk about that here in a little bit. So I'm gonna pull the snow off this bag. Just put your bucket down like this and then you just pull it back. That's what we're gonna do. And you do that while you're trying to back this thing up. On time. Okay, I'm gonna, I get, okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta get this done. Okay, so we have scratched most of that snow off, you can see. So I'm gonna turn around, we're gonna hook up here, and we're just gonna wrap up all that loose stuff until we can get up to the, closer to that bank. Shoot, I should have brought my boots. I would not think this through properly. So I, I thought that this one was, uh, like just left, like we uh, did half a bag. But it turns out we didn't. We, uh... We just ran the bag off the bagger because obviously we were done chickpeas and we were moving on. So uh, I just cut this here, we cut it open so we can get it wrapping. So we'll probably still try to take the bag. Typically we would cut it back here and we still might if uh, there's a bunch of rotten stuff or something in there. Definitely smells like mice. I'm gonna get a shovel here to help out. So normally when we do this we have a lot more than just two people. So the reason why we're cutting it here is we've got to make sure there's no rotten stuff or there's no sense of even hooking it up. If that be the case, let's just cut the bag and we'll do some scoopy scoop with the loader as we typically always do. And uh, hook up to it after we get it all cleared up. Oh, I like the look of that. You said you do or don't? I do. Well, that's a good sign. What is it looking like under here? Not too poopy. Not too rotteny. Oh! Oh! Come on. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that's uh, that's a little slippery there. I just gotta rearrange my phone. Good thing uh, I got this thing. I actually kind of hurt my head there, a little Frankles. My bad. Kind of hit my head a little. How's it looking? Good. Should see it over here. I'll just come up over here a little bit. Whoop. Oh, come on! Where'd that knife go now? Oh. Oh, it's like I didn't stab myself. Okay, I'm gonna stand inside. Okay. I think Looks good. good. Awesome. Let's just cut this thing and wrap it. You want to take the whole thing? Well, if we take the whole thing, we can dispose of the bag. Yeah, let's take the whole thing. Let's just grab it back here. Careful when walking on this plastic with snow, it's proven to be treacherous. Okay, so, lock this back in. There we go. Then you want to pull the bag over. There's tip of little, there's little hooks right here. Though they don't really do crap. They all get bent down and... So anyway, I gotta help with this. You gotta pull it over and then we're gonna hit the roll. And then we typically just start rolling it up. Holy! Why is that so? Why is that so hard? Okay, I gotta put this down. Just catching yet? The bag wants to spin on the roller and time it gets tight enough to catch it and then start wrapping it. And I kind of want to keep helping it back up a bit. And I think we got it. I'll back it up a little bit. Ooh. You always gotta help it get going, especially when your tractor's on the big snow banks. It's hard to pull it. Otherwise, typically, you put your tractor in neutral. Put it in neutral now. Let's see if it'll pull us. You want to push out the extend piece there, maybe? I don't know if that helps. That's the pusher. There we go. Those hurt. The chickpeas in your boots? Yeah. I'm in neutral, but if it's pulling too hard, I'll, I'll back it up a little more. Ramming speed. I'll put it back in neutral. Now that we're in neutral, we can get out. Should lower it down a little bit, maybe. Let's 
just ram this thing up. I guess that's as high as we can go. Let's lower it down. There we go. Okay, while well you guys get the idea, we're gonna roll ourselves up until we get up to there. There's a mouse in here somewhere. I saw one. He was running around this hitch. I don't know where he went. Gotta back it up a little bit. Oh yeah, he's right there. See him? I hate my spec. I'm terrified of this stupid thing. Right there. Oh. Where'd he go? Up over there. He's running up over there, right there. See him? Oof. Why they send the guy to go hook hook up uh, grain bags who is terrified of mice? I have to go talk to management about this. <laughs> I don't know if it's safe yet to get out. Looking for those rodents, but we're basically here. Just about, just about ready. I should put my auger up. The problem we ran into is uh, the amount of snow sitting on the edge of this bag. Uh, it's putting a lot of weight on it. And it's trying to tear the bag before it can pop the snow off of it. So we gotta shovel all this off. And that's a lot of snow. Just saying. What, Frankles? What, good sir? There's a lot of snow here. I know, I know. I'll, I'll put my camera down here and. Just gonna start it here. I'm a little pushing on the bag, but. Uh... button so I can get off the seat. You can um, make it so you can get off the seat of these vents without the PTO shutting off, but I forgot to do that so I had to shut it off and restart here. There we go. Now I'll be able to get off the seat. Otherwise, as soon as you get off the seat, the PTO shuts off and then that's how you shoot it. can rip big holes in the bag, you gotta be careful about that. Here's all that snow piled up. You gotta get a knife so I can cut that. Michael's has been cutting holes in the side of the bag and he says we're A-OK. -okay. No rotten stuff to shovel out. Otherwise, you'd have to sit there and shovel it out while you're going. Obviously, you'd have to have another guy on the other side too doing the same thing. And if it's really bad, well, that's just all because we don't have to record that. So, we're not loading at ramming speed. As you can tell, we can go about typically half to three quarters of the width of that uh, spout. But uh, we've been having a lot of trouble with breaking the chain in this thing. So, uh, we're just going to take it easy because it's not fun doing chains. Or shooting. stopped here actually but when you stop you have to shut the hydraulics off on the roller and let this thing clean out and then shut the PTO off otherwise if you shut everything off right away you'll go to engage it and probably shear your fins done it a hundred times idle it all the way back double tap oh didn't catch double tap okay there it is, there it is. Turn the hydraulics back on. Not allowed, not allowed! Six feet are really hard on the ears. And 
It is in neutral, so that this Vegas tractor is actually pulling my tractor backwards. All I gotta do is steer it and keep the debagger in the center of the bag. standing up there, he's watching. He's gonna wave to me here pretty soon when he wants to be done. Gonna look at his weight gauges, scales. Frankles has to go up there and sign the manifest for the guy, saying, yeah, it's whose name, because you got to sell it under whatever name, and what, blah, 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 so yeah. There you go, he's got his paper. He might bring it to me, I'm not sure, there is a good chance of it. Is that the paper, good sir? Thank you. All right. We're going to see if he can get out of here. Get a rockin', get a rockin'. Oh, nuts. Come on. You got this. You got this. He's not going anywhere, is he? He's not going anywhere, is he? I don't know. It's not looking good. Come on. Come on, he's got it. Shoot. I don't think he's going anywhere. I think you're stuck. Okay. We got the 942. Gonna give him a little tug tug. We doubled up the strap so it's not quite so long. It's not gonna take much of a pull. Oh yeah, he's got this. That's good, eh? Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, yeah, we're good. That is the dealer full line eggs uh, 942. It is on loan because of our 930. Uh, it's giving some trouble. What kind of trouble, you ask? DEF, D-E-F, diesel exhaust fluid. Uh, you know, whoever invented diesel exhaust fluid, I would sure like to have a conversation with you if you wanted to fly up when it's minus 40, bring your diesel, and uh, we're going to see if you have any issues when you want to leave. So anyway, a bunch of stuff froze, broke, ran down in the wiring harnesses, shorted out wiring harness, started stuff on fire, and then so yada, yada, yada. Anyway, that's all behind us now. Note that DEF, uh, DEF exhaust issues, freezing up, breaking, is not... Uh, Echo thing alone. Oh my goodness. It is every freaking manufacturer. Case, John Deere, Echo, Ford, GM, Dodge, you name it. It has depth. It will give problems. It's just a matter of if. Not a matter of if, sorry. Matter of when. Matter of when. Not sure if that trucker was supposed to uh, contribute into our uh, stuck pot, but uh, 
feel like I've pulled out, we have pulled out a lot of people who haven't, so I guess it's just gonna be us guys on the farm. Next truck, let's go. So trick is, when you're coming up with the semi, you never stop until you're underneath the spout because you have a lot of trouble getting going again. You know, it's right around that zero degrees right now. It makes the snow and ice really excessively slippery, a lot slipperier than normal. And you always stop underneath, so that way you can always get some weight on your drives of your, of your truck to get going again. going again he's in a little bit of snow too it's hard to get all the snow away from the bag it just really is hard without getting too close to that bag and compromising it oh good 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 I'm liking I'm liking what I'm seeing so far now he only has the first trailer full he's gonna get resituated and get to that second trailer without getting stuck that's his plan and it's good to do that now that his first trailer has got given him all the weight and he's not pulling anything once you load that second trailer up then he has to pull all that weight it's really hard Okay, we're good. PTO, PTO engaged. I've got questions. What do you mean pulling weight, hauling weight, drives? What is all these definitions? Well, those are his drives. That's what pulls, that's what actually drives his semi, right? He can lock all four up if he has the option for lockers. And uh, when you have weight in this hopper and weight in this hopper, there's two hoppers in this front trailer. That puts a lot of weight on those drives and that will pretty much propel you through anything. Providing you don't have any weight in the back trailer. The minute you put weight in that back trailer, now you have to pull, right? Otherwise you're pretty much hauling. Now you have to pull. And uh, that's when you always get stuck as you're trying to drag that back trailer. So that's the definitions. Moment of truth. Can I get her going? This guy knows what he's doing. Might have to back up a little. Uh-oh. Slippery. The problem is the snow is so dang slippery. And, once you, and he's actually climbing uphill a little bit. And once you load this back trailer... I'm gonna have to give him a little pulley pull pull. Yeah, throw some dirt under there. It's a great idea. I should grab a shovel and do this. We threw a little dirt down there. Sometimes that's all you need. I don't know if it will work this time, but sometimes that's all you need. Come on, come on. He doesn't have four-way lockers, which would make that tire turn too. Yeah, that's, yeah, just because that tire turn doesn't mean the other ones are, so. We'll give him a little tuggy tug. Oh, the dirt worked. But just enough to get him rocking. Have a good day, sir. I like it. I like it when a plan comes together. All right, Ashton's coming to pick us up. We're gonna start walking over here to the road. So, Frankles, do you know what the plan is? Do we get any more chickpea trucks to load or what? I don't know. Well, this whole bag's supposed to be gone by some time. Oh, so we're gonna have, go and have a late lunch and I guess if we get told, we gotta run these tractors all the way back to the other bags and that's what we'll do. Oh, Holy bye. <laughs> Okay, anyway, you guys have a good one. Adios, amigos. Right, Frankel? Toodles. 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 We're, this video is too long already. I think it's probably over 30 minutes. Holy a lot of people don't like that sort of thing, so. Adios. Hello, thank you for the ride. That was a terrible road. <laughs> it's kind of, I know, there's some banks in it. Okay, we're out of here.